This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, October 23rd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather stays dry through the weekend. Gradual warming trend after a cold start this morning. Uh, let's take a look. Upper Low is located this morning just east of Long Island. And uh, we're on the backside of that with a northerly flow aloft. And that keeps that flow of dry air coming into the deep south. Hey, it's pretty cold to start today. Look at the 30s up on that map. Fort Payne 37, our observer at Black Creek, northeast of Gadsden. He's in a bowl on Lookout Mountain. Has 32, a light freeze this morning. Uh, Birmingham at 45, Aniston 41. The high today should be in the upper 60s in most spots. And around the nation, you can see the colder air over the east. But with time, we'll see a slow warm-up. In fact, we might see a high around 80 by Sunday. Rain, forget about it for the next five days. This is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. And once again, not a drop. We might, toward the middle or end of next week, have the chance of a shower. But it's somewhat marginal with a cold front coming in, as you'll see. And our ninth tropical depression is no more. That fizzled out over the Yucatan last night. We had this broad area of disturbed weather south of Cuba, but uh, upper air winds are pretty harsh, and I just don't think anything happens down there. This is the modeling on the remnants of TD9, and it just kind of hangs around the coast of Central America, and uh, again, it looks like it's not going to gain much latitude. So, model fans, let's take a look at the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. And this is at 500 millibars. There's the upper low just off the coast of New England. There's a surface low underneath that, and it's going to be windy and wet for the northeast United States today. But down here, nothing but severe clear. And uh, the GFS is showing 69. The NAM is at 68 today. Tomorrow, another beautiful day. Lots of sun as we start to warm up. The high will be in the low to mid-70s in most spots. Saturday as the weekend begins, mid to upper 70s. Just a beautiful day for a football, anything else. In fact, much of the country is in great shape. And uh, wettest weather in the nation is back in the Pacific Northwest. And Sunday, same thing, just beautiful. And the thickness values are coming up, and we might touch 80 Sunday afternoon. Let's go to next week. This is Monday, and uh, the models are hinting that we could be in the lower 80s here. This could be fairly warm. We note that big surface low that's over Kansas, but the air is so dry, there's nothing happening south and east of that. And this is Tuesday of next week. You can see a trough north of here, and underneath that, the surface low is over upper Michigan with a trailing cold front down into uh, the Red River Valley between Texas and Oklahoma with a batch of showers northwest of Alabama. We're still dry Tuesday. And then Wednesday, that front just kind of sags southward, and it tries to approach, and again, you know, we might mention the risk of a shower Wednesday afternoon over North Alabama with that, and then Thursday, it just kind of sags south, and the same thing. Could there be a shower? Yes, but is this a big rain event? No. And then uh, this is Halloween, October 31st the end of the week and you can see a big ridge in the west and a big trough in the east and look at that cold air flooding in here i mean that's cold the 540 thickness line down to the alabama tennessee border strong north winds and uh, that would suggest a high in the 50s and a low in the 30s for everybody and the colder pockets could see some upper 20s if this is right and of course this is just beyond our seven day forecast period but there's been some decent consistency in this idea Here's the end of the forecast on November 7th. Heights are coming back up, and that looks dry and pleasant. And temperatures coming off the ensemble here for the next uh, 15 days. You can see that cooler air arriving around the end of October, the 1st of November. But again, those numbers are looking pretty good and pretty typical for this time of the year, except for the warmer air we'll see this weekend and early next week. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. I'll be out of town today in Anayana doing live weather, so no afternoon video. Back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.